What's up, everybody? This is Joshua Casper, and welcome to a walkthrough of how to edit the new After Effects music promo video a template. Uh, you can go download it on the blog. And uh, this is the easy version. There are two versions inside of the download. This is the easy one. I figure this is the one most people are going to use, so that's what I'm going to do a walkthrough on. But there is a second one. And just be aware on the, uh, the other template that doesn't say easy on it, it says Mojo. Uh, it uses Red Giant's Mojo for a color correction. So if you have that, great. Go ahead and use it. If not, you're going to have to do your own color correction for that version. And also the drop shadow, you'll need to do the advanced drop shadow for the writing on the wall. Uh, go check out the examples on the blog to see what they uh, each one looks like and uh, that will give you a better idea of what's inside. But this is the easy template. This is exactly what you'll see when you open it up. Uh, it might be a different font, but uh, that's pretty easy to change. So anyway, this is the final comp. This is what it'll look like. Uh, like I said, go check out the examples on the blog if you want to see what, it, uh, what the animation does. But it's pretty much just this record spins. The record arm moves along the record just like it would normally. Uh, this is lower thirds here. I'm going to Bring down the resolution so I can show you. Pops up real smooth. It's got the artist name, the track name. It stays on there for a little while and then it goes off the screen. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. I'm going to leave the music and the artwork in there just so you can follow along with this tutorial and you can also listen to my great music. So the edit folder is, uh, contains the pre comps that you want to edit to make it customized here for you. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through those right now. As you can see, I've already got them open. First one, artwork. It's 500 by 500 comp. That's a square. It's general size for artwork and stuff like that. Uh, so you want to just bring in some artwork that's 500 by 500, as you can see here, and drop it in the middle there. Boom. And once you've done that, if you come back into the comp, you can see that it auto-populates the record sleeve in the back and the uh, sticker on the plate of the vinyl here in the front. That's pretty sweet. And the next thing is the wall writing. You just want to change that to say whatever you want. The wall writing is this part back here. It's just got that standard drop shadow on it. Track name, very self-explanatory. Artist name, self-explanatory. And you don't want to move these around inside of these. You just want to click and edit. That's all that you really need to do. You don't want to move the position of this, and that way it will stay uh, where it needs to be over here on this lower third. And then the music. So here I have uh, a track. And let's say I want to use a different track. So I'm going to bring the, uh, delete this, first of all, and then bring in the new track. Sweet. And as you can see, this track is longer than the other track was. So what I want to do is click down here on the uh, work area end and hold down shift and drag it to the right. And when you hold down shift and drag to the right, it's going to snap to the end here. So it's going to be a perfect long length. And then I want to take my uh, play cursor here, hold down shift and drag it to the, the right again. Sweet, and now that's snapped to the end of the track. And then what I want to do is come over to the final comp, and you can see that the play cursor is relative to the music comp. So I stopped it around 4 minutes, 4 minutes 15 seconds, and when I come into the uh, final comp, it's at the same time uh, timestamp. So what I want to do is take the work area end and drag it to the right again, holding down shift. And boom goes the dynamite. Now the work area um, on the final comp is the right length of the music. And you don't want to worry about anything else inside of the final comp once you've updated these five uh, elements for your new piece of music. And then you just want to go to composition, add to render queue, and do whatever you need to do. Make sure the audio output is checked, obviously. This isn't a video on how to render and how to convert and stuff like that. But that's just all you have to get all you have to do is change those five pre-comps very quickly, very easily. Make sure the final comp is the right length, uh, the same length generally as your music clip. And uh, that's all you need to do to get the video out.
Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you're using it. If you use it, make sure to tag me so I know uh, or I can see and hear your music and uh, everything else. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.